Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So I'm hoping you all are safe at your home. So today we are going to discuss um, your query, which is about the question on Jacobian's theorem. Okay. So let's see what we have in terms of question, which you guys have given me. This is the question which is stating that x is equals to r cos theta y equals r sin theta and you have to prove that partial differentiation of r theta divided by partial differentiation of x y equals 1 by r now you need to understand whenever there is a partial differentiation that too with respect to you know one or more variables i mean two or more variables and uh, it is given in the form of some function r comma theta x comma y then you need to apply jacobian's theorem okay now if you see the question is directly given as the value uh, in terms of r and theta right x equals something y equals something so it would be easier if you find out the value of partial differentiation of x with respect to r or theta partial differentiation of y uh, with respect to r and theta right so if we convert this question into this form which is partial differentiation of x y divide by partial differentiation of r theta then the right side will also be converted into r right so this would be the question and it would be easier for us to solve it right so let's start whenever this sort of question is asked what you need to do is see this is your first variable x okay so this can be expanded by jacobian's theorem in the form of determinant and the values which which this determinant will have is like first variable partial differentiation of first variable with respect to the variable which is having or at the corresponding position in denominator which is r partial differentiation of r and then partial differentiation of theta right so first variable partial differentiation of first variable with respect to the variables which we are having in denominator then partial differentiation of second variable with respect to again the variables which we are having in denominator okay so now you need to find out all these four values and let's see whether we are having r or not okay which we need to prove in this question so firstly partial differentiation of x with respect to r this is your x so partial differentiation of x with respect to r would be r would be your uh, variable and theta is your constant because it is partial differentiation not to total or complete so you know when you are doing differentiation of r with respect to r it would be one right then we are left with cos theta then partial differentiation of y with respect to r would be again r is 1 the differentiation of r is 1 and sin theta is left then what you have got theta right so partial differentiation of x with respect to theta would be now r will be treated as constant and theta differentiation of cos theta is minus sin right minus sin theta then partial differentiation of y with respect to theta would be r is constant r will be taken as sin theta so the differentiation of sin is cos right now you have got all these four values just put them into this form of jacobian's determinant and then get your answer so it is dx by dr first which is uh, this cos theta then partial differentiation of x with respect to theta is r minus r sin theta then partial differentiation of y with respect to r is sin theta then partial differentiation of y with respect to theta is r cos theta right so this has become you know how to solve determinant you have to cross multiply with with having negative sign in between so r cos theta multiply with cos theta then minus is in the formula then these two will be multiplies uh, minus r sin theta into sin theta right so what we have got r cos square theta 
minus minus plus r sine square theta and as you know we can take r common what is left cos square theta plus sine square theta which we all know that is 1. So we have got this you know the formulation which we have converted this is r and you can say that, that if we convert numerator and denominator then this will be 1 by r right. I am hoping that you have understood this concept. I have already made a video on Jacobian's theorem with three variables as well. So you can check that out too. And this is a question because you guys specifically asked this question in the comment section. That's why I'm making this video. So hopefully you will like it. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.